Hello, and welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm a little late to the party by, you know, about nine, ten years or something like that. You know, it'll be okay. First time playing. Hello? Hello? Hello, how are you? Who are you? To help you get settled in on your first night. Um, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact. So, I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you there's uh -huh. nothing to worry about. So, if you worked in this office, why don't you so clean it up? Let's just focus on getting you through your first week, okay? Uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. It's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Thank you. A magical place for kids and grown-ups alike. If you say so. Uh-huh. Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or a person. Upon Makes sense. discovering that damage or death have occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Um, now, that might sound bad, I know. Eh, that's a little but concerning. Nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? No. Uh, if I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night, too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children, and we need to show them a little respect, right? Okay. Yeah, if you say so. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free-roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up, they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the bite of 87. Bite of 87, you say? It's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, uh -huh. it's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, They'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy oh. Fazbear suit. Uh, no thank you. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wires, and animatronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort. Death? Again. Yeah. Uh, the only parts of you that would like to see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth pop out the front of the mask here. Yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. I'm but assuming hey, you've free, seen this happen. Uh, check those cameras and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. Gotta conserve power. Alright, good night. Well, considering I haven't done much of anything and my power's at 78%, uh, I think we're okay. Yeah, I believe it would be about right. You know, we got a cupcake kind of staring at us all creepy-like. Uh, you know, you do you, okay? Just don't eat me. Uh, what are we celebrating here? Something about birthdays. Um, you know, looks like there's a lot of drawings about birthdays or... No, my fun days, you know. All right, let's check. Hey. Um. Yeah, uh, I don't like you, and you have moved too, I think. Or you. All right. As long as y'all stay away from me and my office, you know everything is gonna be okay. I, I. I who's playing? Hey, where'd you go? Where did you... Okay, one there. 
and y'all are both there. I don't like it. I mean, I think we got this, right? I feel like you keep moving. You there. Wherever my mouse is. Right there. I see you in the poster. Hey, hey. Oh, hey there. You're a little up close and personal to the camera. Thank you for stepping back. What was that about? One, two. Don't. One. Two. Where's the third? One. Two. Three. I don't know if I'm supposed to close that door now, or... One. Hey, you there. Um... One. Two. You can fuck right off. Okay. One, two, three. One, two. Can you get out of the hall, please? Hello? You're still there. You're like right next to me. I think I can open you. Pretty sure I can open you, right? Where are you? One, two. I think we can, I think we got this, right? Six AM. And we're alive. Oh god, the second night. Let's hope we can do this. Do we got a phone call? Yeah, we do. Stupid cupcake. Quit looking at me. I feel like its eyes just follow me. Hello? 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 Uh, it might be a good idea to peek at those cameras while I talk, just to make 
Oh. You know. They are not in the proper place. I don't think so. Um, which one was that? Supply closet. Oh god. This is not going to go well, is it? He's tall, it's looking good. I think they might be in cam six. Okay, so one, two, three. You're back in the supply closet. Okay. Checking on Pirate Cove. Pirate Cove's good. So we'll go back to the supply closet and sit around and wait. You know? Everything is gonna be okay. All right, one. Two. Can you? All right. There's you there. So one. Okay. I should have checked the blind spot. It is indeed game over. Okay. Um I think I'm going to go check my pants. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm going to can try and continue on and beat this game in the next episode. Hopefully you have enjoyed. I will see you then.